So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the figure here that's provided for us. So what do we know about this diagram? Well, we see the 20 degree angle here. We see another 20 degree angle here that's also been labeled. We obviously see the X degrees here that we're trying to find. And what else do we know? Well, I also know that this PC is congruent to PB because they're both radii. That's really all that we know. So the question says point P is the center of the circle in the figure above. So we see that, we see point P. And what is the value of X? So what, what is this, uh, this angle right, that I have, that I've indicated here? What is that angle? So there really isn't any information here that directly tells us what X has to be from my opinion at least, not that I can see directly. So I'm gonna start thinking about like, well, what, what could I draw into this diagram that would be helpful for me? So if I were to draw this line here, you may say, well, why are you drawing that line there? Well, you'll see in a second, if I were to draw that line there, then I'd have another congruent radius and I'd now create some shapes that I actually know a lot about, right? Because I now created two triangles. And they're not just any type of triangles. They're actually isosceles triangles. So I know, I know a lot of things about isosceles triangles. I know that the opposite angles in isosceles triangles, right? So, these, so this 20 degree here and this angle here, those angles have to be congruent. So that tells me that this has to be 20 degrees. I also know um, regarding triangles in general that the three that the sum of the three angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So I could say, well, that means that this angle here must be 100, and I'll just label it there, must be 140 degrees, right? Because we have 20 here, we have 20 over here, which means the remaining angle must be 140 degrees. Now, by drawing this line between P and A, I also have this bottom triangle here, which is 20 as well, for the same exact reason as the 20 above it, right? Which means that this angle, the top here, is also 100 and 40 degrees. Now visually notice that the three angles here, and I kind of do this on purpose because I've seen some questions like this in the past, these three angles, I'm drawing them so that the lines like connect. And what shape does it make? It makes a circle. Now how many degrees is in a circle? Well, we know that a full circle is 360 degrees. So in essence, what we have here so far is we have kind of like this much of the circle, right? And I don't care about lining this perfectly up. And that portion of the circle we know is 280. And then the remaining portion of the circle here we know is X. Hopefully you can see that, right? 140 plus 140 is 280. And then we have this X region here. So I can make an equation. I can say, well, 280 plus x, we know must be equal to 360 because it makes a full circle. So if I want to just figure out what x is, and I think we do, right? What is the value of x? If I want to figure out what x is, I can just isolate x now, and I get that x is equal to 80 degrees. So my final answer here is 80.